Hello, Sim fans, Sim Fanatic with you. Today, I want to talk more about the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant, and I want to go through the multiple configurations for this. Now, it's a great piece of hardware. Um, I know some of you have it on order and are probably anticipating getting it anytime, and some of you may have not been able to order it yet, but stay tuned. They'll be making more. You'll be able to get your hands on them. But I want to go through what, what, what the multiple configurations or different configurations that you can have with this Bravo Throttle Quadrant. So let's start with, there's a single engine, there's the uh, twin engine complex, and then there's also multi-engine complex. And so I'm going to go through that with you. And then as you can see here, I'm set up in a two engine commercial configuration. So what you might find with like, maybe if you're playing X-Plane, you want to fly it with the Zeebo 737. Uh, 800 or any multiple aircraft for that matter right or maybe with Microsoft there's not a lot to pick from yet but there's uh, multiple twin engine aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator maybe you want to use it for the Airbus uh, maybe you want to use it for maybe the Cessna and some of the other uh, aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator and so I wanted to show you that configuration again two engine commercial and then the four engine commercial so I'm going to go through with you in this video on how to get those set up and what's available to you. So stick around. Okay, so here we have the Bravo Throttle Quadrant in what's called a two-engine commercial configuration. So as you can see, um, we've got the engine one with reverse thrust. We've got engine two with reverse thrust. We've got the speed brake and we have the flaps, okay? Now, obviously we've got a flap knob there, but when you're in a um, two engine commercial configuration, Honeycomb's done a nice job in providing the various handles, as you can see, so that it looks legit. Just like if you were flying maybe a 737 or um, you know maybe an Embraer, what, whatever kind of aircraft you're, you're wanting to fly commercially, um, that, configuration will work for you. You do have the trim wheel, which this is absolutely awesome. Love it. There's also on the right hand side here, there is a tension knob that you can tighten. So uh, if you want to have more resistance, more friction with these levers, um, you can do that. I actually have left mine at the default tension. I do like it. Uh, it seems to be fine. Um, and you notice is you've got the uh, gear lever handle as well. Um, now, for this video, I'll do another video on the autopilot, okay? Now, you notice there's a bunch of switches up here for the autopilot. Um, I'll go through that. It does work really well. Uh, so, you've got, I'm going to take these off for just a moment. So, these are just little rubberized um, covers for your um, various access controls to cover those up, which is actually nice that Tunnycomb includes those. So, you notice you've got essentially six axes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So in the two engine commercial, the, we'll call this axis one. Axis one is where you want the speed brake. Axis two, you want to have the cover on. So you just put this little rubberized cover on there. Fits nice and secure. Okay, it's like that. Then on axis three, you want engine one. Axis four, you want engine two. Now I'm gonna take this off and show you something. I had this in another video. See how it has a two right there? But it also has a three. Can you see that? There's a three there, and then on the side it says spin that 180. Important you grab this because this is actually when you open up um, the case that has all the levers and handles on it, it's actually is not engine it's not engine number two for a two engine commercial that you want to put on there it's not lever two that's in the in the box i'll show you that in a second you want to make sure that you get grab actually engine throttle lever three and that matches up okay and notice right here there's a button you can see that red button that's for toga so take off go around that you can configure that uh and then in axis five of course you want to have the cover there um, so there's no axis, nothing, no lever there. And then axis six would be the flaps. And then you simply just go into the configuration, either Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane, and you configure those axis levers. And again, if you download the utility from Aerosoft or from Honeycomb, um, there's some pre-configurations that you can do for your setup. Okay, so that's the 
two engine commercial. Okay, now I've switched this over to the single engine configuration. So as you can see, I've got the throttle lever and that is on axis number two. Again, we have six axis, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the throttle lever with the go around button. So take this off here. There's a go around clicky button there. You'll want to use the right one there. Put that on, snaps just on nice and easy. Um, and then of course your mixture control, a single engine aircraft. So maybe this is for your Cessna 172, Cessna 152 single engine, or maybe it's the Piper Warrior or you know any of the single engine aircraft that you might configure this way. Super simple to replace. Notice these just pop on and off. They have um, connectors to tell what you have connected to them. And so, and then you might notice that I have covers now on axis four, five, and six, and on one. So again, for a single engine configuration, you want to have the throttle on axis two, and then the mixture on axis number three. Now let's go ahead, and I'm going to keep it rolling while I show you this. We're going to go ahead and switch it to a single engine complex. Super simple. So again, um, show you this here. Honeycomb provides the box with all the levers. So this is for your uh, single engine, multi-engine and complex. And then you also have another box, a nice big box here that has all your commercial levers. Now, when I was mentioning um, engine one and two, um, you want to keep that in mind so that you grab the right one. Um, and I covered that in another video, but let's go ahead and take a look at how to simply make this a single engine complex aircraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off on axis number one, two, three, four. I'm going to take this rubberized cover off. I'm going to just simply take the mixture lever, put it on axis number four. Now I'm going to take my lever for the Put it the right direction here um, for the mix or not the mixture the uh, prop and I'm going to set that over there so now I have my configuration for a single engine complex again um, you know one of the things that you want to keep in mind as you do this is that you have the right access so you should be on access two for your throttle you should be access three should be your prop and axis four should be your mixture. Again, this would be for a single engine complex configuration. Okay, now we're gonna to switch to a multi-engine complex configuration. So we're gonna use all six of the axis on this. So I'm gonna take all the rubber uh, coverings, axis covers off. I'm gonna switch this go around. Remember, that's the one with the red button. I'm gonna put that on axis one. I'm gonna grab out of my box here. All right, my other throttle. So just snap it on there. We're gonna leave this one sit. Gonna move our mixture over to axis five. Gonna grab the extra uh, prop control lever out and put it on here. So now I'm gonna take my mixture and put on excess six. So now I've got essentially my two levers for my mixture, two levers for my prop, and then of course my throttle levers. All right, so again, multi-engine configuration. That's all there is to it. All right, sim fans, and finally the multi-engine commercial four jet configuration so for those of you that like to fly the big bird like the 747 or uh the airbus uh, i think it's the a340 hopefully i'm right on that uh call me out if i'm not um, but if you want to fly the uh, multi-engine four engine aircraft this is your configuration with the bravo throttle quadrant as you can see all of these have the reversers those are button i've got i've been asked that before in comments and questions outside um these are switches so these are not levers you can't configure like more thrust less less thrust on the reversers 
on these. And so they're just clicks and it's a button. And so you have to configure your reversers to full reverse for those buttons. Um, now, with that being said though, there is this area down here and I haven't done this yet, but the flight detent where you hit the bottom, but you can go back and there is an access there as you can see. So right now the detent stops right there. So there's a stop, but then you can see I can move the farther down. So I would suspect, and I haven't done that yet, but I could try it, is that you can then configure um, reverser access that way if you don't want to use the, the uh, switches, okay? All right, Sim fans, well, that's it for this review and for this tips for the configuration, multiple configurations that we talked about with the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you did, please uh, do a thumbs up on it if you would. Subscribe. I'm going to be bringing more content to all of you. Thank you for taking your time to join me today to talk about the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. It's an excellent buy. It's an excellent value. I know a lot of you can't get a hold of it yet. Understand your frustrations, but hang in there. More will come. So um, until next time, take care, blue skies. We'll see you soon.